Now, earlier you mentioned our friend PC. For folks who don't know, that's our friend, Dr. Phil Campbell, who's one of our Renaissance champions, one of our leaders. And his favorite line for years has been, we want kids to be seen, heard, and loved. And you kind of touched on this a little earlier, and it's downright heartbreaking, Brad. And you get to work with kids way more than I do. A lot of kids just aren't seen, heard, and even that last one, loved. Yep. Um, I mean, that. I, I guess I don't, I, I'm not trying to rag on parents here, but I don't understand that that a lot of these kids of all ages really mm-hmm. need that something extra, and the school could be the folks to bring that something extra. And it sounds like that's what you folks have been doing, which is great. Talk about that. Yeah, absolutely. I mean, everyone, not just the kids, the adults, we all need that. We need to feel that love somehow. And it's just awesome that the kids can walk up to you like, hey, Mr. McCloskey, I I love you. Like, I love you too, buddy. You're awesome. Keep being awesome, you know? And just, you wonder how much they get to actually say that at home. I don't know. Um, But we we really kind of went with that branding too. I got a bracelet here. It says seen, heard, and loved. Um, Our champion themes on there. We're going to get those for all the kids this year. Um, But it's also a nice little reminder. I look down there and think, okay, seen, heard, loved. I got to make sure are we making everyone feel seen, heard, loved as much as possible? Um, and a lot of parents, I had uh, did a parenting class too, and I think it helped a lot. I'm going to do some more this year. Um, but just for example, if your kid's sitting there playing just fine, everything else, what do we do? Well, we ignore it. We don't want to poke the bear or else we're on our phones and don't realize it. But as soon as they pick up that block and throw it across the room, we yell at them. Well, guess what? Their little brains just said, hmm, if I want mom or dad's attention, I need to throw a block. And obviously that's not right, but that's what happened. That's how they got attention is by throwing that block. But if you just take a minute to say, hey, nice job playing with those blocks there. Appreciate you doing that. Appreciate you cleaning up. Wow, what are you building there? Just that little you know, thing you can ask them or say to them can make a big difference in how they see how to get attention. Um, we have actually, my wife's here. She, or she's not here, but she's uh, cricketing for me. Here's our seeing her love uh, champions. I actually just went and bought a couple of, Picnic tables on um, uh, Craigslist, I think I found them on. They were older, and I kind of cleaned them up a little bit, stained them, and going to put seen, her and loved on them. And the idea is to get outside a little bit, take your classes out, sit around the picnic table, do a read aloud, or just hang out. Um, Even our families to come and sit on the playground and and be able to see these. Um, So, uh, yeah, seen, her and loved just we're constant with that. And it's just... And it, my wife will even say, she kind of gets tired of hearing me say, she's like, she works at a bank. She said, well, I had a customer come in. Of course, he's yelling across the lobby, blah, blah, blah. And this is all. And I just kind of grinned. And she goes, I know. I told the lady I work with, he just wants to be seen, heard, and loved. I said, that's <laughs> it. Said, and if we take the time to make him feel that way, then he'll be good. Just let him go. Just wants hey, to it works in a school, works in a bank. I think it probably works anywhere, folks. Yeah, come it on. does, for sure. 